Hi again. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you a few things. First thing I'd like to show you is how we can select one area. It can be this ball or this blue part of the slider here, or in this example, the top and bottom swimming outfit, and change the rest of the image into black and white or a sphere color, and also record the steps. I'm just wanting to combine all the things that we've learned so far into one video. Let's get started. First thing I want to do is push Alt on my keyboard and the roller on my mouse and zoom in a little bit so I can get a better view. I'm not going to be too particular in my selection. just want to go really quick. Go ahead and select the pen tool. That's what I'll be using. And go up to the top and make sure that path is selected. Once that's selected, just click the area. This is the area that you want highlighted. Go down to the bottom portion. Okay, now I've made my selection. From here, I can start recording. I'll go into Actions, and let's just create a new one. I'll create a new folder. I'll just name it this. And once you click record, it'll start recording the steps. I'll go ahead and do that. I can minimize this. Now I can go back and right click. And I'm going to make or select make selection. Click OK. And now you see the selection. I'm going to zoom back out. I'll push my Alt and my roller. And I'll go up to select and inverse. So now my whole image is selected. In CS3, you can go into the Create New Fill or Adjustment layer and go to black and white. And from here, you can use a preset if you'd like. And now it's a black and white image. Or you can go into tint and make add a little tone to it and adjust the saturation as needed. I'm going to cancel this, but if you're satisfied and you do have CS3, just go ahead and click OK. I'm going to cancel because I'm going to use the old way so that more people using Photoshop from different versions will be able to do this tutorial. So I'm going to go back to create new fill. And from here, I'm going to select Hue and Saturation. I'll create, select Saturation, see how the background is now changing to black and white. And the outfit is still yellow. I'll click OK. I'll go back here, and this time I'm going to do, um, let's see. To a channel mixer. Give it a little red tone. And this is something that you're going to have to play with, see what you like better. You have green, red, green, and blue option here. I'll just be happy with that and click OK. And now you have this colored outfit and black and white sepia tone background. 
If you're done and you're happy with the result, just go ahead and go back to your action and go ahead and stop the action. And you've recorded the steps. So now, let's say I have two layers here. And I'll just remove what we did. And that's a nice thing about using this uh, new fill or adjustment layer. You can easily change. Instead of going up here and you go to adjustments, you're not going to be able to do that. And here you, you have more flexibility. I'm going to go ahead and delete. Oh, one more thing. If you do need to adjust, you can always double click it and you can make adjustments. Really nifty. Okay, so here's my layer. Nothing's done to it. I can go back here to my action, select it, and play, and voila. Go ahead and try this out. Hope that you have a good time with it. And thanks for watching.